Pro Group Management. Workers Comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal. The 4th of July is almost here and we have a list of fireworks shows on and off the Vegas Strip. Good morning and thank you so much for joining us on 7 at 7. I'm Cynthia Puga. Starting off with lifestyle news, Independence Day is tomorrow and if you're looking for a way to celebrate, we have you covered. Cowabunga Bay will be presenting a fireworks show on the 4th and the 5th and the Sphere will be having its first 4th of July celebration on the Exosphere and you can capture this live or on the Exostream. And Red Rock Resort will be hosting a firework viewing party at the Sandbar Pool. Tickets do start at $35 and can be purchased at the gift shop. To see a full list of events for the 4th, you can visit LVRJ.com. And speaking of fireworks, although these shows may be fun for many people, it's very important to remember that they can be stressful for our pets. Local animal experts say pet owners should create a comfortable environment for their furry friends. Experts also say if your pets get anxious, a soft and cozy space should be prepared for them with their favorite toys and blankets. They also recommend staying at home with your pets to help calm them down. Local shelters are warning about more pets becoming lost on the 4th of July than any other holiday. So it's recommended to have your pets microchipped if possible in case they do get out during the celebration. Moving on to weather sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. The days are getting hotter and hotter and we can expect temperatures to reach 100 degrees this morning by 10 a.m. with a high of 113 for the day. That excessive heat warning does start at 11 a.m. and plans to stay in place until Monday night. We can expect around 112 degrees for the 4th of July and there's no turning back this week after that as temperatures are expected to go over 100 and 15 degrees, so remember to drink plenty of water and limit outdoor activities. Moving on to Top Story, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. A Las Vegas Metro Police Department officer and another person were seriously injured after they were hit by a car. This happened in the parking lot of a Las Vegas convenience store at around 6.30 p.m. on Tuesday on Southland Boulevard, north of Boulder Highway. Police say the vehicle was traveling at a high rate of speed, left the road, and turned into the parking lot of the convenience store. Both the officer and the person suffered serious but non-life-threatening injuries. The driver stayed on scene and cooperated. Police do say the driver did not show any signs of impairment and suspected to be a mechanical defect. And Clark County Coroner's Office has identified the bodies of two missing boaters that were recovered at the Lake Mead National Recreation Area. The National Park Service was searching for two men who were last seen boating with friends on June 24th when they went for a swim and did not return. Now, this is according to the Coroner's Office. One of the victims has been identified as 53-year-old Melvin Nunnery and the other as 38-year-old Zier Calhoun. The cause and manner of death, as well as the residents of the two are still pending. And Las Vegas is in for a treat as the Italian Air Force will be flying over the Strip. The Air Force's demonstration team, Frecce Tricolori, will be flying from the north to the south over the Strip between 1 and 2 p.m. today. So you'll be able to see the sky with its colorful green, red, and white trails that they leave behind. In business news, just when you thought the Bellagio Hotel Casino couldn't get any more grand, it turns out that it could. The Bellagio expansion called Project Mojave on county planning documents will add more than a dozen new shopping spaces, several food and beverage outlets, and viewing spaces overlooking the fountains. An MGM spokesperson says the documents were submitted to Clark County last week. Las Vegas-based Marnell Architecture designed the proposal, which has also worked on other casino architectures such as the Bellagio, the Aria Convention Center expansion, M Resort, Rio, and win. It's unclear when the project could go before county commissioners for approval. Sports sponsored by PT's Taverns, your place to watch all the sports action with over 65 locations. There's a PT's near you. Visit PTsTaverns.com. Over 20,000 packed inside of T-Mobile Arena to watch the Las Vegas Aces take down the Indiana Fever 88-69. The fifth largest crowd in WNBA history and the largest since 1999. Pretty cool, right? It is nice to see, uh, you know, these women to be recognized for how great they are and how hard they work and valued um, the way they should have
him being valued the whole time, in my opinion. Moving on to health, brought to you by Centerwell Senior Primary Care. Discover primary care focused on you. The U.S. will pay Moderna $176 million to develop a mRNA pandemic flu vaccine. This vaccine can be used to treat bird flu as cases in dairy cows continue to rise across the country. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services will pay for continued development of a vaccine which uses the same mRNA technology that allowed rapid development to protect against COVID-19. Moderna will launch trials to test the safety and effectiveness of a vaccine. Sports betting brought to you by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. It's just past the halfway point of the baseball season and the Dodgers are the plus 325 favorites at the Westgate Superbook to win the World Series. The Phillies led by Las Vegas native Bryce Harper are the 5-1 second choice followed by the Yankees at plus 550. The Orioles are next at plus 750 with the Braves at 10-1. The Guardians and Mariners are each 14-1 while the Astros are 16-1. The Athletics who are last in the AL West standings are listed at 10,000-1. Vegas Nation sponsored by Station Casino's STN Sports. Download the app today. The Raiders wide receiver room underwent big changes last season. They welcomed rookie Trey Tucker and free agent signing Jacoby Myers. But throughout the year and minicamp, Devontae Adams has seen some growth. We have a pretty cohesive unit right now, and it makes um, makes coming out here a lot more fun. It makes it easier, and um, you know we, we spend a lot of time together outside of the facility too, which is you know what, what really makes this thing fully special when you have that type of bond and. Uh, that type of connection with one another. So it's just going to continue to grow. Moving on to entertainment, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. An iconic rock duo has been forced to cancel their tour, including a stop in Las Vegas. Heart has pulled all dates from its Royal Flush tour, including a December stop at Blue Live Theater. In a message on X, co-founder and iconic vocalist Ann Wilson announced on Tuesday she had recently undergone surgery that uncovered cancer. Wilson was instructed by doctors to take the year off to recover. Sisters Ann and Nancy are expected to be back on stage next year. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. Hit that subscribe button to get alerts when we post breaking news and our 7 at 7 newscast. You can also watch us on other platforms such as Apple TV and Roku. We'll see you here tonight for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.